round of applause for the extremely talented people who turned this room over. Thank you. Thank you. In the former Eladrin capital of Odysseia, the remains of a mighty red dragon lay in the city square. Its bones are a constant reminder of the destruction and suffering it caused upon being let loose on the world. The elves called him Nara. Most people simply referred to him as Strahd. We'd all heard the legends as children tales of his size and strength. However, we weren't prepared for what happened on that day three years ago. After the great dragonborn horn summoned him, he made short work of hundreds on the battlefield within moments. He then turned his attention to the Evergreen, setting fire to nearly a third of the great forest before traveling onward. He attacked the city of Overwatch, before taking heavy damage from their ballistas. They were able to drive him off. That wasn't the end of his rampage, though. He attacked the city of Esterholt and destroyed several sections of the city. He finally traveled south to Odyssea to rest. The paladins of Kord sprung into action and rode south to fight the beast. Many lost their lives, but in the end, Strahd was finally slain. The damage left in his wake is still being felt to this day. Countless people have had their families torn apart. Those that managed to survive the Dragonfire will be in pain for the rest of their lives. Odyssea was left broken and abandoned as a stark reminder. While most people were relieved to see Strahd fall, not everyone was pleased with the outcome. The Order of the Scale, a cult based around the worship of dragons, felt that it was a travesty to kill such a majestic and ancient creature. Though the city of Esterholt did their best to ignore their cries, the cult would stop at nothing to see the tables balanced. It took them years, but finally, one of their agents found something to aid their quest. one of the seven lost scrolls of resurrection. With it, they could travel to Odyssea and bring Strahd back to the world of the living. The Order's zealous- Everyone sat down, you will find a playbill. You will find a, a quick little catch up about our plot, at least the stuff that's relevant tonight. It won't spoil the show for you if you do, if you are new. Who's new? Who has no idea who we are? Oh my Woo! God. Oh. Well, I know you're tired of clapping, but get a round of applause for our street team who has tirelessly spread the word about this panel. And, uh, amazing people. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, we might need a battle map tonight, guys. That was your evil laugh. I don't know. No. What fight in Dungeons and Dragons? Get out. <laughs> so we might need this. We'll see. Maybe you can handle this uh, diplomatically. We'll, we'll, well we see. We do have nothing. We do? Yeah. We do. I'm a talker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we are Dungeons of Randomness. We are a podcast that has been around for six and a half years. We've been playing one campaign for that entire time. There are 18 players. This is just a selection of lovely people who decided to join us on stage tonight. Uh, I'll be introducing them in just a second. There are three groups. Every one of them is just kind of scattered around the world, doing their own thing, but it's all one timeline. So if someone goes into a town and butchers everybody, guess what? The town's gone. Like, there's just no one there, so the next group that rolls through, they're not gonna buy anything, I guess. <laughs> it's all free. Yeah, it's, yeah, take what you can carry. 
Oh, man. Um, so, I think we're ready to get started. You guys good? Yeah, let's go. All right. Ready. ready. Let's do that thing where we go around the table to introduce ourselves. I'm Jason. I'm the Dungeon Master. Go around the table. Start with Bree. Hi, I'm Brianne Marie, and I play Ember Baharat, the paladin uh, tiefling. <laughs> tiefling paladin. And Jasper. I'm uh, Jasper. I play uh, Kendara Theta, rogue assassin. And Rob. Hey, I'm Robert Guizahan. I play back, back, back. By popular demand, man. <laughs> Malchus Grimness, Tiefling Warlock. <laughs> what are the odds of me getting out of here today? <laughs> <laughs> I can <can't> say three. <laughs> <laughs> and Susan. Hey, I'm Susan Spinator, and I'm going to be playing Air Love Grimness, also back. Um, <laughs> But she's a tiefling. <laughs> and last and certainly not least, Xavier! Hi, I'm Xavier, and I will be playing Edmund Page, the elven butler who's the multi class Monica Barn. But the main thing is butler. He's butler. Yep, that is. So, uh, text so here. Alfred Fadness. Yeah. So, to catch everybody up who's new, there is a cult in the city of Esterholt called the Order of the Scale. They believe that dragon life is 10 times more precious than people. They believe that we should pretty much essentially bow down to dragons. And sad thing is, a few years back, a very large red dragon named Strahd died uh, in the city of Odyssey, which is south of Esterholt. And they were pretty loud about it. Uh, while the people of Esterholt were obviously rejoicing, they were like, hey, no more big red dragon. Awesome, good job. The Order of the Scale wasn't too happy about this, and they were pretty loud. But like a lot of crazy cults, the people of Esterholt pretty much figured, okay, they're all talk. They're just annoying. Just don't look at them. You may have seen people like that around DragonCon. <laughs> <laughs> and you just go, okay, I'm just trying to get to a panel, and you move on. The problem is, the Order of the Scale is very tenacious. And they didn't stop talking, and they got louder and louder. Eventually, they found something called the Scroll of Resurrection. There are only seven of these in the entire world, some of which have been used on the show. It is a guaranteed way to bring something back to life, which is a very rare thing in our world. Resurrection is not guaranteed. As a matter of fact, the odds of you coming back from death are slim. The cult <laughs> wants to bring back straw. And that is what this party is going to try and prevent tonight. They have been contracted by the city of Esterholt to head to Odyssea and try to get a drop on the cult, which has a day head start on them. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to pick up on the 28th of Ferior, which is the second month in our calendar. You guys have been on the road for three days. Now, there's a tradition on our show. We like to roll for the journey. We like to roll for luck. We do a flat D20. And at one point, I'm going to be calling on one of you to roll for the party slot. <laughs> Better be good. <laughs> but who would like to do me a favor on this lovely panel and roll a flat D20 for me? I'll do it. All right, Susan. You got this. So I, obviously, the higher the number, the better the luck in the journey. So this is just how has the journey been so far? How's it? How's the weather been treating you? How's get it right? Two. <laughs> of shining hope, the Eladrin lived there, and a hundred years ago they vanished. That's a mystery that was solved on the show. I won't bore you with the details, but <laughs> this city is in ruin. That is where Strahd landed. Strahd had a mate. Strahd's mate is Aruthamar, and Aruthamar has been in the city of Odyssea for three years, laying dormant, 
She has not done anything. She has not attacked cities. She has not, you know, went out for revenge like a lot of people thought. In fact, there are some people who wonder if she's even there, but no one wants to get close enough to the city to find out. I have a special mini under this desk. That's why I, that's why I call it too. That's <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> I also rolled a two. <laughs> I hope I don't have to bring it out at any point. <laughs> tonight hopefully everyone cross your fingers it actually is gonna come down to one of you I just want to let you know oh it's not so exciting anymore is it <laughs> so this has not been the best track so far you're in the Malchus mobile which is uh, describe the Malchus mobile to us please it's a lovely carriage black and gold with purple velvet cushions that is, it's sexy. It's a sexy, it's a sexy card. Um, it's kept in good repair for exactly occasions like this. <laughs> the Malchus Mobile has taken a bit of a, a hit on this journey. It has, it has rained relentlessly for three days. It is, it, you, you have hit, uh, the, the problem is, Odyssey is a dead city, so we're not, thinking about the road leading to Odyssey anymore. No one's taking care of it. There's potholes, there's trees down, there's, there's all kinds of stuff, so. What am I paying my taxes for? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the problem. No one's paying taxes in Odyssey. They're all dead. They're all dead. There's no infrastructure. So, it slowed you guys down a bit, which means the order of the scale, depending, on how quickly they've been traveling might be even further ahead of you guys, which is bad. The only thing that this group has on the order of the scale is the order of the scale doesn't know they're being pursued. They don't know, so there's no reason for them to hurry. They're actually taking their time with this for the most part because they're, they're sort of relishing the moment. This is, they're bringing Strahd back. This is a big deal, and they want to savor this occasion. Now, what would you guys uh, have been discussing or going over leading up to this because it's bad enough that you're dealing with a crazy cult that will probably defend themselves if you try to stop them. There might be a dragon in the way. What is, is, what's going through your heads? Uh, well, first of all, you, we have to make sure everyone stays hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> it has been pretty hot lately. And I haven't seen you taking out your water skins. <laughs> I've been getting this silent treatment for three days. <laughs> I'm a hot You do know three of us are tieflings and run hot. I just want what's best for all of you. <laughs> Four of us. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, part of this adventure is that this was a big task. So we had to bring some people out of retirement. These are characters that retired on the show a long time ago. And uh, you may have come to some of the panels that we've done earlier. And the problem with adventures is there are two paths. You either stop and retire eventually, or you die. There's not a great retirement plan for adventures. So to go out on the road and do one last ride, it has to be a pretty big deal. There has to be a big, and dragons, that's a pretty, it's in the name. It's, it's right there. So, <laughs> the mayor of Esterholt uh, is a lovely lady named Jadzia Grimness Grace. Hello. <laughs> and uh, she has a husband named Valis. That is the uh, the oh, brother. A sweet, lovely man who does not deserve anything bad to happen to him ever. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, <laughs> Valus is played by myself. He is a grumpy older brother to Malchus and Erelov. With two children. <laughs> With twins at home, yes. And we'll see if the dice are cut. We've got two so far. 
This is not great. Okay. How about everyone else? On the road, it's just relentless rain. What's that doing to the velvet? <laughs> I mean, the roof's good, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad carriage, Jason. I'm asking questions. It's my job. Okay, okay. Okay. No, I would imagine, I would imagine the entire carriage is holding up rather well, unless the two applies to the carriage. <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Look like you're gonna curse at me. Wait for some. He hits me so often. <laughs> uh, what would Kendara be feeling? So uh, Kendara is—he's got—he's an arrogant sort of rogue. So rather than sort of the the rogue with the hood and just doesn't you know like in the shadows, he kind of wants to boast and, and that sort of thing. So I imagine he's arrogantly sitting. Do you know what I mean? Like a feet kick up. back. Yeah, yeah, something you know. Man spreading. And, uh, and I heard that in three different areas of the room. <laughs> and I can't do the thing. You know that thing that people do with the pen and they like do it around their finger like this? I can't do that. I've never been able to figure it out. But he's doing that with his dagger. Oh, like, that's badass. Yeah. And he's basically, he's just like, I don't want to be here. I've just got, I got hired. So he's just minding his own business. He's giving him the silent treatment. Is it because I called you Tandara during the uh, our meeting last time and nobody called me on this? <laughs> and I feel very embarrassed about this. Yeah, you're so sweet. I, I don't think anybody wanted to. I don't know what you're talking about. See? I, I told you. So. I told him this, guys. <laughs> that no one cared. Uh, what about Ember? I feel like Ember um, is in her full paladin armor. Like, she didn't take it off to enter the carriage or anything. And she's just... She has an aura about her, something minorly furious, like probably sharpening her weapons, like, and a little bit antsy that she has to be inside of this carriage, but she does have to be because it's raining outside. Like, otherwise she would be outside the carriage probably walking, but instead she's just like sharpening, like staring at a wall, just dead silent. At about midday, there's gonna be, uh, it's been kind of chilly the last day. It's early springtime, so there's, there's it, with it raining like this, there's a bit of a chill in the air. You can all kind of feel it. I would imagine it's that, that, that dampness just kind of gets in your armor, and eventually you're all just kind of huddled up. And the carriage is rolling along, and all of a sudden, streaking overhead is gonna be a huge black dragon. There is going to be, he rolled it too. You, <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> you. You rolled it too. No, you. this did. This did, not me. <laughs> it is going to streak overhead, not not slow down or break stride. It's not going to attack. It's pretty far above you, but you can see it. It's massive. Purple under its wings, and, and just, it looks like it's in a hurry. It's trying to get somewhere. Now, what's interesting about this is Ruth Mar doesn't go anywhere. It stays in Odyssey. Besides little hunting trips back and forth, there have been very few sightings of this dragon. And very few people who've gotten close to this thing and have lived to talk about it. And it is going to pass you by and head northeast, just streak right above you. What direction are we going in again? You are going to the south. You're going to Odysseus. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Like that. it's good for now. <laughs> cute. You're very uh, cute. <laughs> May I suggest that we double up our pace and try to get in Odysseus as soon as possible? This seems to be our chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna push this carriage to, uh, to the limit. <laughs> gonna max out the Malchus mobile. <laughs> <laughs> we should have painted flames on it before we left. <laughs> That's gaudy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm refined. <laughs> so, Rob, I, can you uh, describe the character? Like, how it, are there two seats up front with a couple of horses? Is it one horse? How does it? Is it gas powered? <laughs> it's powered by my snark and rage. No, um, <laughs> it is incredibly fast. <laughs> Love you, Rob. <laughs> you done. 
Uh, I mean, I imagine you could you could squeeze in three on each side if um, if, if you like were packing people in tight. But I suspect it's more two facing one direction, two facing another direction, and then two up top driving the pair of horses. Okay. There are a lot of twos to many. <laughs> Hopefully not many more. <laughs> I would like one more flat d20 from one of you, because I would like, I want to roll for the cult. And I don't want to do this because I feel it would be unfair. Oh, can I roll again then? Can I roll again? <laughs> Go ahead. No, 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 no. No, 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 no wait. Who wants to see Susan redeem herself? <laughs> I want an audience all the time. This is great. <laughs> It's the same rules for them. The higher you roll, the faster they were going. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Not a red one. 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 that the order of the scale had been hauling ass to Odyssea uh, for the last four days. And uh, they got a good jump on you. Why am I looking at my watch? <laughs> <laughs> so did they find the carriage powered by me to go? Or? <laughs> it's like wind for their sails, Rob. I wonder. <laughs> Oh man, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. They obviously, they, they have a jump on you guys, but you, you wouldn't know that. Your characters wouldn't know that. So you, you wanted to continue on. Uh, it sounded like Edmund wanted to push extra hard toward Odyssey just to, just to, just to see what was, uh, just to, you took the dragon flying overhead. It's like, oh, here's our chance. It won't be in the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let me know as soon as we're within one mile of the city. Or city center. There's okay. something I'd like to do. Um, okay. That sounds like a uh, devious plan. Okay. Okay. Um, Tiny this car around. <laughs> <laughs> this seems scary. I don't want to do this. It's too late now. No. <laughs> Getting all my stall cards ready. Let's advance time to the 29th of Fairy York. You guys have had. You, let's say you're sleeping on the carriage on the way. There's no making camp anymore. You're just going. You don't know how long this dragon's going to be gone, so let's take advantage of this while you have the chance. You are one mile outside the city of Odyssea. Now, let me describe something to you guys. Odyssea was, again, this glittering, gleaming jewel. It's, it's centered on the southern coast on a cliffside. It was a beautiful, beautiful Aladrin city. Now it's Detroit. <laughs> I come from New Jersey. How long about. ago did you write that? I just thought of it. Oh, good job. Thank you. <laughs> I like to think it's in an old notebook. One day you went through Detroit and went, yeah. No. I'm just going to zing every city. <laughs> and I mean like Robocop Detroit. Like that's the Detroit I'm talking about. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so, the Warforged. The Warforged took the city over because they had no home. And the Warforged did not really care about nice things. They were just looking for a city to call their own. So instead of a beautiful road leading into the city, they set up, uh, they set up pits and spikes, and they set up things to keep people out. Problem. All the Warforged are virtually dead. Oh. <laughs> about this. I may have had a hand in that. <laughs> <laughs> um, essentially, a, a magical virus that killed them all very painfully. It was for the greater good. Um, <laughs> woo! It's a long story, but don't need that right now. Now this. <laughs> the point is, 
leading into the city, you uh, get far away, you're going to see warforged, rusted bodies, the carcasses of these, these people scattered everywhere, twisted visions of pain in their faces, their last moments spent in Theria in agony. Oh. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Malchus actually looks out of the carriage and, and the, the, seeing this actually does make it slightly more real to him. It's been quite a while since he, um, he released that engineered plague. Um, and, it, you know, at that volume, it, it becomes kind of a number, particularly when you do what Malchus did, which was set it off, walk away. Um, so looking out, looking out of the carriage, he just kind of he gets, he gets very stoic and, um, and just kind of watches it go by and kind of bites his lip and um, just kind of stares. Um. This has come up on the show. Air love is a little insightful. So she'll look to her brothers and put her hand on him and, be, and say to him, I was fighting and you did that. And it really changed everything. Aww. It did have to be done. I might not have been here, but not for that. So there's that. Aww. <laughs> Malchus kind of cracks a little like sideways grin, and thank you. Yeah. Phallus punches him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, give him a noogie. No, um, Phallus has always had a, a very hard time accepting his, his little brother, because to him, his, his brother went away, uh, never got in contact with his family, just went off, and kind of got all the glory. He was, it, the, Malchus is a character who is kind of in the center of it all, all the time. And if you have a sibling that wins all the trophies and the awards, and you feel like you do more work but don't get recognized, there's always that, that, that undercurrent of jealousy or resentment or whatever. And um, after having kids, he's, he's mellowed a little bit. And he would probably even nod like, yeah, fine. <laughs> that type of thing, just like, yeah, it had to be done. But it would be reluctant. This is what reconciliation looks like, guys. <laughs> Six years we've been working on that. For the Grimmis family. Yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> You're one mile outside of Odyssea. All right. Uh, Mr. Page stops the cart and will step out just for a moment. Just hold on, and make yourselves comfortable. I will gather a little intel on the enemy, and I will be right back. And he just hops off the cart very nimbly. He's a very older elf, but he's very, very dexterous and very soft and, and quiet. He's wearing this long kind of friar robes type thing, but it's 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 very bright and blue, and it's made of it's made of these different flaps of fabric. So when he moves, they kind of open up. Uh, and as soon as he hits the ground again, they kind of close and give that silhouette, like the journey silhouette, with the, just like the, the cylinder and two little legs. And he'll just like hop on the top of the card, a very good roof. <laughs> and we'll, he'll take out his uh, flute from under his uh, robes and he'll start playing a little music as he casts a spell that I have that is called Clairvoyance. Now it lets me see in an unfamiliar location, uh, but that's obvious, so it will be dead center of the city. Mm -hmm. And I would like to use it to see instead of hearing, okay. as I can do one of the, or the other. But it says it needs a component that's like 100 gold pieces. Can we say I have it? <laughs> Thank you. We'll just take it out of your, your payment for doing this job. That's helpful <laughs> okay. cool too. Uh, so he sits down cross-legged and starts playing his flute as he channels the magic uh, of his spell, and I'll let you know what's up in 10 minutes. <laughs> so while Edmund is zoned out for 10 minutes, is it starting to set into the party? Is it, is it, is it, the, the city's right there, you can see it, and it's crumbling and kind of grimy looking. There's, there's moss and grass kind of growing up way over where it should be. It would normally be kept up. Is, is, is the, is the pressure starting to, to get to anyone? The, the, just not knowing, I guess. Yeah, can, can just visibly, just with our own eyes, can we look at down on the city and like see any, any figures walking around in it? We're not seeing any figures. It's more of a it's more of an uphill uh, type of thing. But um, with no no dragon there, that is that is a feather in your cap. That's a plus, obviously. 
The problem is you're not exactly sure how many of these cult members are in the city or where they are or if they've done the thing that they've come to do. You have no idea how far ahead of you they are. Mm -hmm. Ten minutes ago passed. And uh, Edmund is going to be able to see that there are eight figures. The cool thing about this spell right now is that it's not like the city's bustling, so it's going to be really easy to get a bead on what you're after. There are eight figures clad in this, this decorated dragon armor. Uh, they seem to be very uniform, very united, ready to go for a cult. They got their shit together. Like they're, I mean, they got the uniform, at least. They're, they're ready to go. <laughs> they also have the scroll. Yes. They have not used it yet. Do I see the remains of Strahd from the You absolutely do. The bones of Strahd are very clearly visible. Okay. Uh, all right, he hops back down very quickly and goes back on the... Well, actually, may I suggest we run or go a little faster than this card? It's a great card, that's the grimness, but we need to move a little faster. I suggest... I count of eight of them. They're all very armed, very armored, uh, and they seem ready to go, but... They haven't done this, the, the spell yet, so please follow my lead. I guess we'll park the cart and follow his lead. Yeah. So you're not you're not trying to stealth in, you're just running up. It's a mile. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stealth for a mile. <laughs> so, okay, you're going to run until you feel like they could be able to hear you when we get with, yeah, within like the, 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 the ruins of the city, so that there's a place for us. Like once we get close enough, we can start hiding. I, I didn't say that. Okay. I'm, I'm just wondering, in the days that we spent in the cart, did we ever discuss how we're going to go about this? Do we know if we're going to try to diplomatize first, or are we going to just attack? Is that something that was discussed? Uh, my character would really much like to attack. <laughs> if there was a voting process, per se. Is there a specific reason for that, or that's just how Ember handles business? Definitely a reason for that. Okay. Well, the uh, captain of the guard, Mr. Fallis Grimness, told us that uh, if we can't reason with them, we have the authority to just like, yep, punch holes in them. Kill them if you have to. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's essentially we'll try that. Yeah. Right. Uh, just as long as you stop that ritual. If you can do that, do it by any means necessary. With any uh, talk of d d diplomacy at all, uh, Kendara would have said, yep, sure thing, devil boss. <laughs> and um, that is a hardcore racial slur. I'm just letting you know, in the world of things, it, it's just, it's, I know. I'm oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay. You're uh, making a lot of very fiery enemies right now. <laughs> there are four of us here. Four-sixths of the two-thirds of the party is... is what do you think I plan on surviving this? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but he had, you know, but yeah, sure thing, but uh, had, had absolutely no intention. It's clear. It's just like, yeah, whatever, man. Okay, yeah, whatever you want. Uh, Malcus will turn to Ballas and say, they haven't used the scroll yet. You still want to talk first? I'd say four days in a cart, you get a little antsy. And this is his first time back on the road. He was a very, very violent person. He comes from the city of Brightport. His nickname was the Butcher of Brightport. He was not a great guy, honestly. He's trying to sort of make up for stuff. He has kids now, he's mellowed out. Uh, I guess. <laughs> but very, very like, an effort at this, <laughs> so we we could say that you know I could tell my wife I tried like it just a short talk then. <laughs> Do we all want to go and face them together or come at them from a side? Don't spill the party. Don't spill the party. <laughs> well, I mean the people do. Uh, if those of us who want to diplomatize can go and diplomatize, the rest of us can get ready for a fight. Are you suggesting, like, staging people?
You did grow up with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm familiar. <laughs> I will accompany Masakura in this as well. More specific. <laughs> <laughs> there are Master Mal Ma Master Malchus Grimace. Mouthful. <laughs> oh, a mouthful of Malchus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> Seven, 17. <laughs> All right. Malchus is very relaxed before oh. the fight. That's my brother you're talking about. Okay, we phased out the dirty fanfic thing that we, we've done a couple times, but we don't do that anymore. So let's back on track, people. Uh, Kendara will... Um, suggest that he will be in the shadows. He's going to go into stealth mode uh, whenever it gets to the point where, you know, we, we can see and sort of, uh, you know, understand what the, the situation is, where people are, are, are sitting, standing, whatever they might be doing. He's going to go straight into the shadows. All right. So let me know when to roll for that. Oh, I will. Ember? Ember would be on board with uh, sneaking in behind and fighting if it's the smart thing to do if someone else is going to be with her or something like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I talk because I talk. He's coming along. Ballast, you're with us also as the figure of authority. You want to go on team ambush. <laughs> yeah, but you're the one who's representing the law enforcement. All right, but he's folding his arms and staying in the back. He's muscle. Yeah. Like, he's just there. It's like, all right, I'm going to back up what they say. And if I have to speak, fine. You know what? Do me a favor, roll a stealth check. <laughs> Got a couple of d20s up here. I'm gonna go for one of the big ones. Right. Um, stealth is, uh, I have a plus 10. Right. And that means I have a 15. <laughs> <laughs> Do this professionally? <laughs> like you stealth professionally? <laughs> Solid rolls tonight, everybody. <laughs> Solid <laughs> rolls. It's been a rough couple of days. It's been, <laughs> yeah. We're all wet. It just sucks. <laughs> all right. So we got team sneaky stabby, and we got team diplomacy. Team sneaky stabby. Sneaky stabby. I'm writing that down. <laughs> sneaky stabby. You guys need to make jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, these eight well armored uh, individuals have these, uh, these dragon head pauldrons and they kind of like, ah, they just kind of sit. They're really into this dragon motif. Like they really, it's, <laughs> like they got the airbrushed van where it's on the side. <laughs> 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 and you're gonna see two archers set up near, uh, near someone who's very heavily clad in armor. The guy who's heavily uh, clad in armor is going to be kneeling down with the scroll. So they're about to do what they came to do. In total, there are eight of these guys. They don't know that you're here yet. You're approaching to speak with them. How do you want to kick this off? It's my bluff again. It's oh, it's plus ten. You got it. It's plus ten. Okay. <laughs> I said the same thing. <laughs> So Malchus and Ballas and Mr. Page, right? And yes. everyone else is hidden. All walk up in plain view. And so so we're not even trying to hide. So do I assume they see us. What do, how do they react upon seeing us just walking up? Well, uh, first there'd be shock because the city's empty and you know, they, 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 I'd say uh, one of the lead one of the lead uh, order members is gonna whip around, sword out. Who goes there? Do you incompetent clowns even understand how surrounded you are right now? It's not diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other one, yeah. What team are you on again? What <laughs> Ballsy play. Yep. Uh, deception. 
I guess. Let's start with that. Yes. Give me a deception check. Carrie is just revving in the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have plus 10 to deception. Let's go. All right, let's go. <gasps> Jason, I've rolled a 27. <laughs> shifty-eyed looking around. What are you talking about? I don't see anyone else besides you. And the, the group with you. <laughs> he would correct himself and your friends. <laughs> Remarkably specific enemies. Okay. <laughs> would you like to see all of my allies? Or would you like to put down your weapons before they make pin cushions of you? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm <laughs> you didn't count on this, did you? That's what happens when you do it live! Yeah! <laughs> it sounds like a dare. That sounds... <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Discretion is the better part of Valor, she's right. <laughs> this, this particular Order of the Scale member is named Jonathan. <laughs> Really? <laughs> they can't all be Kendaras. <laughs> right! I'm sorry, something more fantasy. John Thaw Mew. <laughs> you know, I'll be all of the, like, little apostrophes. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, we'll we'll spell it Elvin like. or something. I don't know. Jonathan. <laughs> Do you have any idea what we're trying to achieve here today? I am absolutely aware of what you're trying to do, which is why you're all going to die if you don't do what I said and put down your weapons. Give me an intimidation check. Does he get a plus for Valis standing behind him doing this? <laughs> <laughs> for those of you listening, I am punching my own hand. You know what? Do it with advantage. Yeah. 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 Give that a mean look. <laughs> 23. Whoa. Good. Very good. Very good. That's the <laughs> John, whose last name is Haynes, if that helps. I don't, I don't know. Nope. Okay, well, I, I don't know. Makes it worse. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Sometimes you're looking for a cult because you're ordinary. <laughs> you got it along, it's true. The dragon armor makes me feel like somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I, bet, I bet he's got a sick dragon tattoo, like a tat sleeve all the way up his arm. Oh, he's got, he's got like a full chest thing going yes. on. Oh, yeah. He piss his mom off. <laughs> John, I got it. Jonathan Haynes. It's written okay, down. thank you. That's with a Y. Oh. Oh! oh my God. That was the best fantasy version of Haynes I could do. <laughs> I have a I was doing it for myself. <laughs> okay, well. So. Jo Jonathan is going to start looking around. Now Jonathan's getting really paranoid. Like, you, you got some brass ones coming up, and j like, you must have some people lurking in the shadows. You, you must have other accomplices, someone who's going to back you up, because there are three of you. So he's thinking, oh, okay, well, uh, he's going to start looking back to his group. Uh, guys, like, d d just start looking back. He's like, do I have backup? And he's going to shout, read the scroll, let's get this done. And they're going to back up and get into a defensive stance. He believes you. But that's the problem. <laughs> I mean, who didn't want to fight, right? Really? Yeah. 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 Malchus says, you had your chance. Let's drop him. <laughs> Did anybody back up towards Kendara? But you know what? Give me flat T20 roll. Let's find out. 17. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> 
would say uh, soft buttocks against blade. Like they're really, <laughs> really, they just like they just twerked back toward you. <laughs> Presented their throat out. <laughs> I was really hoping for like a, like a Batman thing where like he backs up to a window and then all of a sudden it's like, what? <laughs> Get into a building. Uh, so you're saying this person would be surprised? I I would be saying that. Yes. Well, that's great because I have a note right here. <laughs> and it rhymes. When I hit, it's auto crit. Ooh. So, <laughs> so uh, I mean, I think at that point, Kendara's just going to jump into action with it. Go ahead. Uh, all right, do it. Uh, that is, it's going to be, he's got uh, two swords, two short swords. And he's just going to go around his neck and then go. He's going to drop, he's not going to go like, ah! He's gonna right. oh, it's, it's, it's one, it's a surgical strike. Oh, it's like, like when you go to a really nice steak uh, house and they like and they cut to your throat. throat. <laughs> and then they murder you. Oh, right. I'm glad I'm glad I've never been to a nice restaurant. That's, that's the steakhouse in Detroit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michigan. That guy doesn't play as well in Detroit, by the way. If you miss, and it's not a crit miss, um, you just kind of give him an awkward hug. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little kiss. It's a little kiss. <laughs> nice. It uh, freaks him out even more, though. <laughs> Where did that come from? Three rounds. <laughs> okay, how, do I, how, do I, how do I see if I hit? I don't. I don't understand paper anymore. <laughs> Playing on the virtual table. It's seriously, I don't. Where do I look to see what I do? <laughs> uh, uh, plus twelve. Oh, right. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen plus twelve would be thirty. Thirty. 30. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you 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 crit. You hit. You so do it all. Auto crit. Okay. Crit, crit plus sneak attack damage. Right? Roll on the plus table. sneak attack damage. No. Uh -huh. No. We do. Okay. Get ready for this. This is a surprise round. Uh, if you hear something tonight that sounds a little off, those of you who are are really into the rules. Theria has a lot of homebrew stuff, so if it sounds a little off or it sounds like a, just ride with it. Don't heckle, because there's <laughs> a good chance. An extensive and extremely elaborate critical hit table. Yes, uh, and a critical fail table. So we might be seeing either one of those. It's also possible we don't know the rules. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's totally possible too, because yeah. people screw up. Right. Jasper, you have a plus 15 stealth to score, I believe, and the plus 10. And also, I think that you can't fall under 10 for, for the skills you're proficient with, because you're a super Oh, the rogue's are... Guys, we kind of wrote these characters last month, and they're yeah. like level 13, so bear with us. So now you yeah. I'm making up for it right now. <laughs> what do I do to see how much damage I do? <laughs> <laughs> you just, okay, you just reach into a bag and throw. This is my sneak attack, so that's... Yeah. That's my sneak attack. Hang on. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. You have a phone. Okay. I can't calculate what I'm looking at. Then also, because it's a crit, double the dice, double the additives? Yeah. Okay, so this plus 14. <laughs> Math. 6 plus 14. So 20 more on top of whatever that was. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> 6 plus. I really 14 plus whatever yeah, guys, that was. We yeah. usually play on Carry the one. tabletop. This is so much I don't easier. remember because I picked them all up. <laughs> Let me stop you there. Uh, How would you be attacking this person? Now, you, you, you're saying, is that, okay. Oh, what? Uh, no, I'm just telling you. It's, oh. it's, it's as simple as he just, he, like, over, and he goes, like oh, that. so full throat action. Oh, yeah. He's dead. Okay, great. <laughs> No, this is super silent. Oh, thank you. Super silent. And uh, and he's Whoa. going to well, the attack will be him going. <laughs> <laughs> There's the third action. Right. Okay. Seventeen. <laughs> um, and then he's going to go right back into hiding. Okay. Shh. Okay. Give me a stealth. Give me, give me another stealth roll. Just to, so. 
you're popping out of a bush like it's Fortnite and just <laughs> <laughs> and you're just you just <laughs> jump back in. So if this is successful, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna Batman the shit out of these guys. So you're just gonna <laughs> pop out. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna go full Murloc, and then you're going to be gone by the time. Now, if it's bad, then you're just gonna be awkwardly stuffed in a bush. <laughs> so, sidling back in, there's gonna see a rose bush just. <laughs> 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 I want his, if it goes bad, I want his face and hands to still be sticking out. <laughs> But he goes completely still. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. The plus ten. Okay, here's what we're looking for. Twenty-three. Ooh. But I can't get lower than a ten. Right? ten. So ten plus a ten is not twenty-three. <laughs> so you have expertise. You're my first fifteen. Wait, well, I don't understand that. Okay, why do I have plus ten? You have plus ten in that. Are the ones circle on his sheet the expertise ones? Yep. That's why it's circle. Okay, all the circle ones have five more points than they should. I got a 25, Jason. Off. I have them marked off now. We're checking with the judges. <laughs> no, no, no. Jason, can you edit this out now? Yeah. Like, it, can you edit this out? I like that you had a four. Everybody you rolled a four, happened. and you still managed to get a 25 somehow. We're like level 18,000. <laughs> That's fine. Let me stop you right there. <laughs> 25. Um, so, you're in a bush. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> well, okay. This is your chance to look pretty badass. Okay. Gurgle, gurgle. Dead. The rest of his friends are going to go, what? And they're going to see their friend land face down and a pool of blood start to kind of spill out from the neck area and he's just going to flinch a couple of times and then stop. I've got my line. I figured you got my line. I'm just going to take a sip of light. Are we going to do this seven more times, or are you going to put those weapons down? <laughs> I want you. I want you to give me an intimidation check. I want you to do it with advantage. Then we'll go for it. <laughs> That's all I have right now. Nineteen. That's not bad. Not, I mean, oof. <laughs> it's not purple, so purple, good. It's not purple. <laughs> but what is? Um, okay, so. Uh, Jonathan, man, they loved it. Um, so, <laughs> that's, <laughs> Jonathan, fan favorite of this show. <laughs> I didn't get Jonathan. I didn't get Jonathan, right? I got... Yeah, you got Jonathan. <gasps> so who are we talking to now? Dave. <laughs> Two A's and an apostrophe. <laughs> That's canon. <laughs> hey. I think the king's been Steve, though. I think he's the one we should get. Yeah, okay. Well, let's. let's <laughs> he's in the lineup, don't worry. <laughs> Dave is gonna speak up. Dave? You killed my brother! <laughs> Dave is going to lunge forward towards Malchus. <laughs> I should roll an attack. <laughs> now Dave is not the best that the cult has to offer. <laughs> that was Jonathan and you saw it. <laughs> Dave does have a plus nine to his attack. So let's see what Dave does. Dave did it too. <laughs> mm. 
So Dave's gonna charge oh, no, it. Dave picks it up and kills. <laughs> Dave is gonna. Dave is gonna go <gasps> and run towards Malchus, but he doesn't completely unsheathe his sword. Uh, he just kind of runs like shit, and he gets really close to Malchus. It's like hold on, and he's going to. Oh, he's gonna try. It's stuck, and it's just it's. Dave is embarrassed. Does he work? <laughs> Roll for shame. <laughs> Roll for shame. Roll for shame. So, we just heard someone yell. Yes, okay. So, Team Sneaky Stabby, you are, are way... We're in a building. Yes, okay. Yes. So, you're in a building, you're in a bush, and you are listening to all this. So, you're going to hear gurgle murder. Then, you're going to see someone fall. Uh, you're probably going to go, wow, that, what the hell was that? Yeah. And then you're going to hear... God, <laughs> and you're going to see Malchus do this or something okay. and just not get hit. You, you realize that there's no real immediate sense of danger. The cult is very agitated and they probably will attack. But the initial strike was not great. Okay, oh. at this point, I guess we're behind a building and I'm going to do pass wall and make a door in the wall and, and just step out with Ember. Okay, this sounds... It sounds like initiative time, guys. And Everyone, you become roll initiative. Do 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 do. Yep. Oh. Uh oh, I heard it. oh. <laughs> I haven't rolled yet. I just saw a zero on my sheet, and I was like, oh, okay. Oh. Fine. Oh. <laughs> Was that? I got a four. You <laughs> 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 two twos. That's better than a two. I like two. <laughs> Someone left. <laughs> There's nervous laughter. <laughs> Can just shout out at you and point to us? Yeah, I uh, get uh, uh, Malchus. Yeah, uh, 12. It's almost like we don't have a dynamic for this plan on a virtual table every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, 12. Uh, Jasper, what do you got? 30. Oh. 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 That nice. Oh, I'm going to get you at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not today. <laughs> Susan! Uh, 16. Ooh, respectable. Alright, alright. Alright. And Xavier. I have a 20 total. Oh, nice. Okay. Can I ask what Valis rolled? I am doing that right now. Uh, yeah, thank you. So, I can put this aside because this is just going to be straight combat now, guys. <laughs> uh, everyone, thanks Susan for printing out everything that you see here tonight. Alice <laughs> has a mighty plus one to initiative. Better than me. <laughs> Seventeen total, not bad. Yeah. So while I'm rolling for the rest of these guys, I'm just gonna throw them in the initiative tracker here. What's going through your heads? I want to know who's holding the scroll of resurrection right now. Smart. Ooh, that's smart. smart. Yeah. Well, the cult is split up uh, and 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 kind of organized. You see a couple of archers. You're gonna see really heavily armored dudes. They're champions. And then you're gonna see kind of a mixture of folks. One of them, Jonathan, dead. So you don't have to worry about him. And uh, we're just gonna have uh, Dave in at last. Cause, chin. <laughs> but, but who has the scroll? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is clutching the scroll for dear life. He's like, oh shit. Like he's going to start. He's going to start try I'm gonna put him in as Kevin. He's gonna start uh, on his turn uh, trying to whip this out. As long as we're just giving them modern names next time, you just wanna ask someone in the audience for their name and just like <laughs> sure. Yeah. 
they're gonna end up dead, probably. <laughs> just to let you know. <laughs> well, that you like a threat James. to the audience. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hope <laughs> not. Like, you could be part of the DNR podcast. Very briefly. <laughs> Help, we're being held captive. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone named Kevin in the audience? Oh, do we have a Kevin? Oh, that's what I'm with Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him. So we're just going to get rid of. Oh, Jonathan. So Aww. Jonathan's gone. Uh, they didn't roll too well, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. Uh, we're going we're gonna to start at the top. Um, so I'm going to place your minis on this little battle mat here, and uh, you're going to have to kind of angle to see. Uh, we don't really have a central location. Let's say Kendara is right behind this this gent here. Yeah, not for long. Uh, <laughs> guy in the center. Kevin. Okay. Scroll. Yep. Okay. You were on Team Sneaky Static. I no. went on team uh, Malchus. Yes, that's right. Okay, so you're going to be over here uh, with Malchus. Airlove and Ember are going to be on their flank. So you have surrounded these guys. This is not a great start for the cult. We're going to see if it gets better for them over time. Ember and Airlove over there. Malchus, Valus, and... Mr. P. Yep, Edmund right over there. So... We got Kendara up. You are directly behind one of these guys. Give me a name! Jared. James. Ripping. Rip. Asen. Or Satin. Bob. Satin? Yeah. We're going with Satin. <laughs> <laughs> They're an equal opportunity. Everyone can join the cult. Like they <laughs> 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 No guys. They sound amazing, actually. Yeah. This has been great. Very yeah. elusive evil cults. They have a nice dental plan. Like they're they're, 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 they're I don't have dental. Like I. Huh? They're just a bunch of fun guys having a fun time. Yeah. Who doesn't like dragons? Well, yeah. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> Kendara, what do you want to do? Well, I think you know what I want to do. That's exactly what I did last time. He's going. He's going to go around in a circle. And hopefully do it so fast that it just keeps people just keep dropping. Let's just do one at a time. <laughs> First, uh, he's gonna do exactly the same thing. Shh. Okay. To be boring. Uh, okay. Let's go. Let's do it. That's uh, an eleven plus something plus twelve. That would be twenty-three. Twenty-three. Thank you. It's <laughs> a so twenty-three. Did I hit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a two. <laughs> Plus, uh -huh. I should have gotten the numbers instead of the pips. Five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We're learning math. <laughs> twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-one days. So twenty-one. Plus two. So Plus twenty-two. Okay. Plus two. Yeah. Twenty-three. Plus seven. Plus seven for your short sword. Yeah. Yeah. That's like 80. <laughs> it's 30. That's 30. It's 30. It's 30. Okay. Well, we'll go we with 30. We should have Valerie to well, sit right here. Well, yeah. 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 Running up and down the tables. Uh, no. Uh, just... <sighs> Sad. Um... <laughs> Right, okay, so 
Is that wrapping up Kendara's turn? You want to try to? <laughs> you want to try and run around? What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to. Uh, 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 I'm, yeah, I'm gonna run around and just try to get behind the next person. Okay. That's it. We're gonna go around like a clock. Well, you're drawing a lot of attention at this point, so that that stealth check's gonna yeah, go they can't see. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, no, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> 25. Let's, let's go. 25. 25. Because, okay. I know, I know, I know. I made a face. I know. It's fine. 25. You're right. <laughs> oh, no. I was just saying, they're looking at Malchus for the most part. They're going to hear gurgle, gurgle, and it's like, oh, God. They're getting ticked. You ever play, like, Arkham Asylum or something like that? And as you eliminate that, yeah, their heart rate sounds like, oh, shit. They're, they're really starting to get on a swivel here. Can I, can I make something clear to you, though? He can't roll lower than 25. <laughs> <laughs> And then has a modifier of 15. Well, like, here's the thing. I can only give you a DC. I'm not sure. I mean, it's just that's what it would be. I'm just saying he gets 25 on a bad day. Well, <laughs> he could crit fail. That's dumb. I'm okay, so the one that cares, the one that matters. <laughs> it's not a one, Jason. <laughs> Would you like to move down the line? Yes, I would. I'm In the conveyor belt of murder. Would you like to? <laughs> I would like to go. I think the most important thing here is I'm going to be going counterclockwise. Oh, <laughs> it's very expressive. <laughs> Boom. He's there. There we go. Okay. Uh, next up, Mr. Page. Oh. Um. All right. I will use this. Uh, movement of confusion and panic to just sneak right into Kevin's face. I can move up to 10 squares with my 50 foot movement. So okay. I, I think I can count up to 10 in Kevin's space. He's, that's, yep. Kevin's holding this roll, right? Yep, right. Kevin is, for now. Uh, Mr. Page will say, I'm sorry, Kevin. And he will... <laughs> How do you know Kevin? Oh, it's a long story. <laughs> Care. You guys don't know it, but this is actually closure for a major arc. <laughs> Listen to like all 200 episodes, and you'll get a payoff right now. <laughs> and so, as he as he runs again, he's like this like tube of cloth is just like hovering over him very slowly. And as soon as he strikes, he just like strikes a pose, very cool, like low on the ground pose, and the whole thing opens up, and he just like open palm strike him in the sh in the chest. Uh, and he'll try to stun him. Okay, let's let's see what you got. It's Fourteen plus ten. Twenty-four. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can do all the plus tens. <laughs> Thank you. We love you. I remember that great. She like ran it. all the way back up to our room she to did. grab our computer. We really appreciate. Everyone, stop mocking Valerie. <laughs> Just you guys. <laughs> well, then stick up for yourself. Stop letting this bully you. <laughs> I, uh, does, does that hit? Yeah. All right, that will be four plus five. That's nine bludgeoning damage, and I will spend one key point. Please roll a, for a constitution saving throw against 16 to see if you're stunned or not. Oh, golly gosh. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I keep losing that, and it's right in there. <laughs> That's where it goes. That's what it is. <laughs> you said constitution? Yes. All right. Shit. <laughs> Four? Four would do it, right? Yes. Really? No. <laughs> so he's stunned. What happens to the scroll in his hands? <clears throat> <laughs> I'll, I'll try to dislodge it. Okay. Right. <laughs> On your next turn. Uh, I get two attacks though. Oh. I'll, I'll strike. I'll strike him again. Okay. Just for fun, Z. Just yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'll try to knock him out. Yeah. You know. Well, okay. I still damage. Right. Yeah. Go. Uh, Seventeen plus ten. Twenty-seven. Val. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be eight damage. Okay. So let me mark that. Down. Okay, so, uh, yeah, he's going to, he's going to take this blunt like, and just kind of hold the scroll out like this, cool. and kind of shake, like, stunned, is not, like, it, 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 like, his central nervous system is shutting down. Yeah. yeah, I will, I will take a bonus action, though, to uh, take the dodge action. Oh, okay, because you're in the thick of it. 
Yes, smart. Here's another key point. Thank you. Okay, uh, well, we got Valus. So, Valus has a ridiculous weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And Valus hasn't used it in a very long time. Yes, Daddy, yes. Uh, so he's going <laughs> to... Who has children who love Yeah. <laughs> Reminder. For now. He oh. is going... <laughs> I live with her. This is going to be bad. If this, I, I just want you guys to know. So, he is going to unfurl this length of chain. It's about 15 feet of chain. And attached to that is a loaded bear trap. It is a stupidly cumbersome weapon, but man, is it, is it really terrifying to see someone just whipping it above their head. And he is going to move. The kitten. The Kettenhund is what it's called, which in German roughly translates to chain dog. <laughs> it's a chain chomps in Mario, right? Yeah, yep. nice. that's exactly what it is, yeah. Um, and he is going to, uh, he's going to target one of these archers up front, and he is going to whip out the Kettenhund here, and he's going to, he's going to give it a shot. Let's see. I I'm going to do a thing for you real what quick. What are you going to do for me? <laughs> oh! <laughs> That actually makes sense. Why didn't we do that? <laughs> That's some high efficiency arrangement. Yeah. <laughs> Wowza. All right. So he's got a plus six to the Kenton Hoon. Let's go. 19, almost a crit. He is going to. <laughs> this ridiculously cumbersome weapon, he is going to whip it around in his head and he is going to throw it 15 feet at this archer. It is going to clamp down on his shoulders. That, that, that cool looking pauldron is going to take the brunt of this, but those teeth are going to sink in, and he is going to start trying to pull back on this guy to get him face to face. Jason? Yes? Is Valus not a champion? Uh, he is. Oh, that's a crit! Oh! Wow! <laughs> Well, this can get ugly. Okay. <laughs> so what we do is on the show, if someone rolls a crit, we roll a d6. On a one or two, you just do the, the, the extra damage. You don't worry about it. On a three or higher, we roll on the crit table. So let's see. That's a four. <laughs> we rip for these live, like, face-to-face -face events. We need a crit wheel that we can just go. <laughs> took all these notes and collated everything and, and there's a table of contents she can just thank you <laughs> So we can, I'm afraid she's gonna hit me. <laughs> she got to three, and now she's doing four. I don't know how many strikes there are, is the thing. I, she just keeps counting. She just keeps counting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what it is? <laughs> is it? <laughs> I'm gonna roll the crit table now. <laughs> that is a nine. Unreliable armor, the target's AC is reduced by two for the remainder of the encounter. If the target has no armor, you and all allies have a plus two to attack for the remainder of the encounter, so he's just gonna take a negative two to his AC. That's pretty standard, honestly. That's not that's not crazy. But <laughs> okay, that's, man. yeah, that's good. Like let's the dragon one. Yeah, let's roll with that. Okay, so negative two to the AC. Let's do damage, Kettenhund. Oh, this is dumb. Okay, let's go! Okay, so nine damage in total, and uh, he is going to take the remainder's attacks to start pulling back. So this archer is going to be right there face to face with Alice. That is going to be the end of his turn, and whew, let's move on. Uh, Erla, you are up! Okay. Um... Who's holding this role? Kevin? Kevin. 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 Okay. 
Um, so behind Kevin, a skeletal hand's going to reach up from the ground. It's ghostly, and it's going to reach into him. We'll see what happens. Where into him? <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's an 18 against, uh, what's my... Stop drilling, you hit oil. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to reach into his chest and pull out light force. Um, and it's totally screwed up, man. And it's gonna do 3d8 damage. Woo! Very nice. That's a level one. Uh, Our love got dark. Yeah. Uh, plus 10, 7? No, I don't get 17. 7! No, I don't have plus 10 on that. 7 damage. Okay, 7 damage. We're gonna mark that down. Is our love like, does she have a lot of eyeliner on and is she listening to some Hawthorne Heights? And <laughs> <laughs> is she Post posting a lot of song lyrics, lyrics on her Facebook? <laughs> Thank you! Well, she's 40, so I hope not. <laughs> it's never too late for a phase. <laughs> Kevin's in a bad way. <laughs> Kevin's just, I, he was just trying to live life, and he's feeling very attacked right now. So, I said, sorry. I, 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 you want to tell me, Kev? He's feeling a little attacked. He's right feeling. Now. Oh, I'm starting to think it's me, guys. <laughs> yeah. um, is, that, is that all your love wants to do? She's going to move away. She's going to Okay, so you want to, where would you like to move? I thought you were just going to take the mini and go. Yeah, oh, just oh, no. go. <laughs> I did what I wanted to do. <laughs> Malchus! Okay, so Malchus was going to do his like, armor bag at this thing, get his temporary hit points, because his armor class is abysmal, but these guys are bad at their job. <laughs> so he's not going to do that. He's just going to kill them, right? Like, um, it, so I'm having trouble seeing the minis. Is there, is there an area where there are like three or more of them in the same 10 foot radius? You know how with that? Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to flame strike. Okay. So okay. Do you want to hit Kevin? Uh, everyone gets a chance, apparently. <laughs> do, 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 could, could I point out that Kevin is holding something very precious that we might not want to set on fire? Well, yeah, yeah. So, okay. do you have a non-Kevin trio that I can hit? Yeah, sure. So okay. that's right. I'm on the other side of it. Okay. So um, that's handy dandy spell cards. Thank you, Susan. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, they only make a dexterity saving throw against a big old eight plus math. Eight, eight plus math. <laughs> Valerie? That's a twenty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to say it's an eighteen, right? It's proficient. It's proficiency and. Ability score. Yeah, it should be at the top of your sheet, too. Oh, it's oh, the ability save DC. Okay. <laughs> Dexterity save DC 18 from those gentlemen. They probably, they, they're going to have a rough time getting that, aren't they? Well, they're so armored. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my problem. They just look so cool, bro. <laughs> I mean, it comes at a price, but thank you so much. Making sure everyone's hydrated. <laughs> Sit down, this isn't a bar <laughs> Thank you. D20 plus two. Well, well. Do you need to try individually, or is that just like... They each try individually. Okay, yeah. give, give them a um, Okay, a seven, a one, mm. a nope. <laughs> <laughs> a pillar of radiant fire rains down from the heavens. Immolating? Immolating? I just killed the drama. Bernie's. Lots of outfits. The red ones are the fire. Green the fire. The green ones are radiant. Ooh. You color coded your dice? Right. I did. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my numbers, guys. <laughs> There's not going to be much of a cult lift, is there? <laughs> 21 fire damage. Oh, God. 15 radiant damage. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. How much? 
36. When it gets that high, we just say a lot. Like, we just, you know. Okay, so, golly gosh. Okay, well, what we're going to do, they're, they're going to just, they're just, how would you describe this hitting them? It's just raining from the sky, so they're just like, oh, God. Like, they're just trying to shield their faces, like, not no, in the no, face. No, it's God. Right. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like fire, but also, like, like, Violet light, like interspersed. Because fire wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, straw. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> now, if that came from the dragon, they'd be like, that's, that's the dragon's will. But what? Are they vampires? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you're just a tiefling dude, so you're, you're a dragon. It, 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 here's the thing this is not going well for them so far. That didn't kill them, but man, they are not looking good. Like, they're, they're, they're singed, their armor is just, just blasted, and get, they're, like, they managed to get shields up just in time to not have it collide with their skull, but they're, they're, they're really getting mad. It's, it's the kind of damage that makes you rethink cult membership. Really. <laughs> <laughs> test your faith. Um, I mean, it's easy when you're just sitting in the clubhouse. What if they wanted to make a cult to me? I mean, I'm pretty cool at this point. <laughs> Get down on all fours and stretch out and go grrr, like something, like something they could get behind. Something dragon like. Something dragon like. No, 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 they're going to die, Jason. <laughs> I'd also like to point out for anyone who hasn't seen this show, when we were joking about his ego earlier, <laughs> he literally just was like, Can I have a cult? <laughs> Can I be God? <laughs> Very good fire. Why don't I have a cult? Very good fire. I'm just picturing them armored with like a big like Malchus Fist pauldron on it, you know? Now that would make it look too bad. So wait, so the Malchus Fist is like, ah, like just like, <laughs> fighting down on their shoulders? <laughs> they all have very long capes. Yeah. Uh, all right, you already sold me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course they have capes. It's black on one side, purple on the other. Yeah, it's on the interior. On the interior, velvet. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Yeah. Now you can do fashion show later. Call me the velour fuck. <laughs> so, is any of them gonna attack us at some point? <laughs> I hope so! <laughs> Theoretically, they have an initiative somewhere down here. I think I'm the last, but like, everyone goes before me. I, well, this. okay, I started scrolling and their names do come up. I checked. <laughs> They're in the phone book. Let's go. So... <laughs> Thallus would have some feelings about Erelov's new necromancy path. What would, what would Malchus feel about that? Like, Malchus probably caught the skeletal reach around. <laughs> Go ahead, tell me more about my sister's skeletal reach around. <laughs> Well, it does seven damage. <laughs> Dental. Um, 
Well, this can't go much worse, so let's see if they can attack. All right, here we go. They're cool. Just, I want to paint a picture, right? <laughs> we have, I feel like it's what we've been doing for an hour. <laughs> Reduced to a fine paste by Mr. Scissorhands here. <laughs> <laughs> we, had a, we had a dude stunned to paralysis by a punch. We've had That's my crazy. sister's skeletal <laughs> creature. <laughs> I want to see that Great Lifetime dancing. movie! <laughs> and I've made radiant fire rain from the heaven. Now, put yourself in the shoes of a young cultist. <laughs> Kevin? <laughs> I'm Kevin, if you will. And ask yourself, do I attack? Or do I want to see tomorrow? Are you feeling lucky, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> if they, I mean, if your honest answer is they're going for it, I'll, I'll just assume that somewhere in their backstory is a justification. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Okay. Yeah, this isn't looking great. Yeah. And when they had dinner tonight, they probably thought this was gonna go better. It's like, yeah, guys, we're gonna res that dragon. It was like it was like bonfire at 8 p.m. Dragon resurrected by 11. Right. Well, yeah. Law we'll fly home or something. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. But wasn't this? Yeah. <laughs> Is it all they got? It's. I mean, okay. Two things. One. We just lost Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> And satin! Okay, yeah. We'll be missed. Those guys were catering! <laughs> Dinner just got sadder. And <laughs> Kevin's clutching the only thing that could maybe uh, turn the tide in their favor because they think, well, the dragon's gonna be on our side. Yeah. And clearly, as soon as we explain ourselves to the dragon, oh. of course. Uh, then, yeah, we got this. So, so this is all they got. Like, well, they're standing next to the bones of Strahd and all that stuff, so it... They're probably thinking, okay, if we could just break away. Mm -hmm. We just get Kevin to stop getting punched. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe we got a shot. Okay, bring it on. Okay. All right. That being said, they don't have too much fight left in the market. <laughs> <laughs> Your faith can only take you so far. Um, so let's, let's, let's do a thing. Okay. Mr. Page. Yes. I would think that Kevin's friend, Zimimimix. This one was named. I have to write all that down. Zimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
Oh, okay. Kevin. Um, well, let's roll damage on Kevin. All right. Uh, so that is a great sword attack. 2d6. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, that's seven to Kevin. Not on a t-shirt. That's right up there with Skeletal Reach around. We're going to sell a lot of those. Now we got orders on the face. <laughs> I don't know what artwork we can get away with. Can we get like two skeleton hands just like that? Oh! I think that's what most people think of when they think of a reach. I know, but it's a shirt. You know what the thing that most people think about when Maybe maybe it could be coming up from the shirt, like this. Oh yeah. We're workshopping now. Let's just I have another idea. Okay. <laughs> Save it for the after party. <laughs> Kevin's gonna drop the scroll. Um, Kevin's just gonna go <laughs> and get hit in the face by like just just cut. Like he's going to he's gonna get, take a bit of slashing damage here, and he's just going to get cut in the face. He's gonna start bleeding, but he can't do anything about it. Stun. Now, so sorry, Kevin. I, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's rough. So, Kevin is going to drop the scroll directly in front of him. The problem is, Archer's up next. Now, hmm, that's a problem, because obviously the scroll is integral to their plan. I'm scared to attack Edmund again, but we got him, right? We just got him. So, so does it happen to be the Archer who is currently, like, encumbered by a... Oh. oh, is that the one? Ooh. This is the other archer. <laughs> I know. The first archer is a little busy going. Ah! <laughs> just, <laughs> it's like an angry parrot. It's just. <laughs> For archer number one with bear trap. That was too many names. Harry, Harry, Smile, Kyle, Kyle. Kyle. I like Kyle. We're going with Kyle. Don't get attached. Kyle's already attached. Well, that's a five. Uh, that's probably not gonna. Well, I can roll to see if the crit ones. That's a four. That's good too. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just use both. Uh, so nothing. <laughs> Are you shitting me? No, I'm dodging. I'm just dodging. Oh, you're just dodging. Okay. I thought you were taking the arrow and guiding it towards Kevin. <laughs> I like to think that he dropped the scroll because of the betrayal of like, <laughs> my friend! Right! Zaboomafu! <laughs> Public broadcast system. <laughs> They're brought to you by viewers like you. <laughs> uh, so let's. I am going. Tonight is not going like I thought it would. So, you know what? The, we, we rolled a two and they rolled a 19. I, I know! Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I need? I need one of you. <gasps> oh, okay. Hands up. Hand, you! Please come up here. Please come up. Um, what, what is your name? Abby. Abby. So. No pressure. Don't hit me, I love you all. I, well, <laughs> that's how we feel. Oh, we're, oh, we're using that. No, no ominous thing here. Okay, so um, here's what we're going to do. There's a dragon out there. Now, it's been explained on the show why that dragon left Odysseus. It has not been explained why the dragon might come back. 
That's on you, Andy. Okay. <laughs> the lower you roll this die, the higher the chances a dragon is going to plop down on the middle of that, and I might have a mini right now. <laughs> it's not very mini. <laughs> you might have a mini, guys. You might have a mini. I recently discovered miniature painting, and I love it. <laughs> Here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to take this d20, and you hold the fate of the party. Sixteen! <laughs> That's good for us, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's that's good for you. Dragon's gonna get caught in traffic. All <laughs> oh, the dragons in Detroit. <laughs> it's Dragon Con in Atlanta. There's a parade. I can't get anywhere. <laughs> the Waffle House was packed today, guys. Um. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna give you one more chance to just deliver. Just, just, just deliver, give us a one-liner, Rob. I know that that's not your strong suit. <laughs> I'm really putting you on the spot. I don't know, I'm a little shy right now. I know, it's, it's a lot of pressure. What would you say to these cult members who, their lives are falling apart, they're, they're looking, it's like, and then a dragon! <laughs> <laughs> what would you say to these people? <laughs> it's me, Malchus! <laughs> yes. I'm gonna blow your mind here. I hadn't thought that far ahead. So you just had the ballsy starter? You didn't think this would succeed? No, I just thought we were gonna kill them the rest of the way dead. I mean, yeah. That's the thing, the fight can continue. Maybe they're a second half team. Like, maybe they're gonna come back and just blow your minds. No, they'd have done that before it got this bad for them. Yeah, well, they you just got a turn. Can we use this for one guy? <laughs> For Malchus. I will deliver your one liner. Oh! Provided it's PG 13. Don't, don't be crazy. You! Ma'am! The mic? No. Oh! Oh, I thought you just wanted my job. Okay. She's been sitting here for two hours, like, I could do this all. You call that a cult? I will get it. So, Okay, yeah, oh, first of all, thank you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Yeah, I, I was a little snidey. <clears throat> a little snidey. me. <laughs> I mean, it's 
it's on the ground. It's well, the problem. <laughs> can I just like roll check? Can just, it, it, like, they don't have to give me, but they can feel intimidated by it. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Let's go. Plus ten. <laughs> oh, they give me. I mean, they do it. Twenty-three. That's solid. I didn't say it wasn't. Okay. Don't get defensive. <laughs> Imagine the morale being particularly high right now. They've had a tough game. Um, Kevin's still paralyzed, so he's not used to. <laughs> Zabumafu is going to relent. Zabumafu is going to go, just don't hurt Kevin! <laughs> They're very close, they like each other. Sure, it's a. It's a Fraternity. <laughs> it's a close-knit cult. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Zabumafu is going to try and appeal to your reason. About dragons? I mean, that's kind of a big thing. <laughs> Can't you see what we're trying to do here? We're trying to right a wrong. These are majestic, beautiful creatures. Just can't you let it live? Zabumafu's emotional. <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean, as rebuttals go, it's straight to the point. Zabumafu will cry. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Are you just snickering in a bush? Just like. <laughs> going the way that they thought they wanted to resurrect this dragon, and now they're trying to appeal to your reason. Yeah, they may or may not have a mini. <laughs> they may or... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> they may or may not have a mini. And they're, ju they're, just, they're just like, hey, we just want to reunite Strahd with his mate. Can't you see that? Why, why don't they deserve a chance to be happy? <laughs> okay, well, it's not my initiative, so I can't do anything about that. But when it comes around, who's, you just who's, let them know. I want to know next. what Amber thinks. Amber, yeah. Amber's next in the initiative. Can't you just let them be happy? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, yes. you remember how she was, like, steaming in the cart this entire, literally, probably, because it's rainy and she's a tiefling? That's so, racist. Like, <laughs> 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 we run hot. It's not that yeah. We run hot. <laughs> we run like Jasons. Um, our fucking hotel room is so cold in that. Oh, anyway. It's Atlanta. <laughs> it's so cold. You keep it so cold. Anyway. So, um. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ember. Thank you. I, I, she's very busty. I didn't know that when I made her. Oh, I thought you were talking about Susan. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is inappropriate. <laughs> I tell her that privately. Okay. <laughs> I'm a lady. <laughs> I don't feel like she's the right person to go to for like sympathy uh -huh. or mercy in this Why? situation. Um, it's in your pamphlets, if any of you have read the playbook. <laughs> Do your homework. Um, <laughs> Ember, yeah. Ember is a paladin of Cord, And the paladins of Cord are the ones who originally went out to kill Strahd in the first place, and almost none of them made it back, including Ember's lover. So she's not a huge fan. They found the wedding ring he was going to propose with uh, later when they were cleaning out his things. Um, he hadn't had a chance. Uh, so she's going to go ahead and approach um, Zabumafu. Aww. <laughs> By approach, you mean charge. <laughs> <laughs> so... Then perish. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
Sabubafu is emotional. We, we went over this. So Babu, uh, Sabumafu so, <laughs> is why did we name it that? So, I believe his name was like It's Zininanix. I have it written down. Because <laughs> I was being a cheeky tit and I thought that, that would be funny. And it quickly spiraled out of control. Because <laughs> too many people watched PBS when they were six and now they're <laughs> Well, so Boomafu has his back up, Bill Nye, and we're going to um, and Wishbone. <laughs> so, what did Ember do? Um, Ember is going to cast uh, Branding Spite, which oh, is a, we're just going wow. doing okay. yeah, um, which is a bonus action um, on herself, and she is going to stab him with her longsword. So, so well, I want uh, I imagine attention. he is facing Malchus right now, so she's coming in right behind him and just... Okay, so you did come in with Team Sneaky Stabby. Yes, I'm on the other side of Malchus. Yes, Marcus, you, you are flanking. So, so Bumafu is bleeding with Malchus, just tears in his <laughs> eyes, just can't you see what we're trying to do? Just... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess the dice will tell. Yeah, let's do it! Um, Attack with advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the turnover. Don't, the turn don't, 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 don't try. It's the order of the turns that, that ruins this, not me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this is a plus seven, I mean, sorry, plus nine to hit. Mm -hmm. um, so hit oh, if you roll a one. Time. Before this spell ends, I can't roll. Well, if I rolled two ones, yes, I could. Thank you. It could <laughs> happen. Alright. 16 plus 7. Yeah, that'll do it. Sorry, 16 plus 9. Put 16 plus 9. 25. 25. 25. Thank 25. you. 25. Uh, you will, you will strike Zabuma. So, <laughs> yes, I got 2d6 um, radiant damage uh, from my branding smite. Uh, another 1d8 plus 4 for the longsword, and another 1d8 because I am a paladin with um, improved divine spike. Might. And um, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my spell slots for my first Divine Smite, which gives me another D8. She's not happy at all. So all of you Maximum. Yeah. I just saw a cascade of dice. <laughs> just. <laughs> wow. Kill them all. 30 damage. 30, I appreciate the buff of the Vampire Slayer, the movie reference. <laughs> I love Paul Rubens. How much? 30. Dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kikimafu. You're a very cute gamer. This? Or, I don't know. Yeah, Brinsel Lemur. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> that was right, it's a lemur. How do you stab Zabuma? Are you just, uh, is this just a running through type of thing? Here's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a painting with words. Oh, um, excellent. Love so it. he is sobbing to Malchus, like, you don't understand this dragon that, you know, people died to make sure died, um, needs to live, and he's crying. Ember's just gonna walk slowly behind him, and her sword is going to start to glow red with the branding smite, and she is just going to slip it right beneath his armor, right in his gut, and go straight up. And then she's going to pull it out, and he's going to fall to the ground. And she's going to look Malchus in the eyes as she picks up the scroll. <laughs> now, um, here's a renegade paragon thing for you guys to mull over. That's a Mass Effect reference. Yeah, no, I don't. Oh, okay, I didn't know what to do. Jasper, I was... Explain to Jasper. Yeah, I don't even, I understood one of those words. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that, the cult is going to surrender. You have the scroll. They are not going to succeed today. What do you do with them? Okay. Oh, I want to <laughs> die up Kevin's hands while he's still paralyzed. Aww. I almost threw the table over. <laughs> But yeah. <clears throat> the fight's over, so Mr. Page is just gonna like dust himself off and just like, alright, let, 
let's let's find these the, these people and bring them back as two S terrible. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they throw their weapons down. They'd probably like lash them behind the cart and make them walk to whatever weather, but no kill them. I heal Kevin. <laughs> doesn't get to hit things too often and he's going to be gripping this guy by the throat and just ready to run him through. It's like, I, but I got one! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> you see the size of him? It's great! What would your wife say? He has to go home and wrestle with two kids and pretend they're taking him down. He's just like, let me kill one guy. <laughs> she doesn't have to know. Malky's <laughs> <laughs> just so and just like, <laughs> Scout will reach him out! <laughs> Phallus. Yeah. I'm waiting to see what Aerolove says. Put him down. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Kill him or like let him go? No. <laughs> there's a real, there's a real Roman emperor in the yeah. Set him down. Wait. <laughs> Drop it. Yeah. Drop it. <laughs> Fine. Like, just drop it. Just... Does he unhook the bear trap? I don't know if he would, honestly. <laughs> don't kill him, but you can keep him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, if you're going to tie him up, probably. Like, he'll, he'll take the bear trap off, and it's an oozing wound there of several metal teeth, like, going into to, to skin, biting down on armor, and probably gonna heal. Heal All right, okay, well. What about Ember? What about, uh, what about Kendar? Would, would you be so merciful? I feel like Ember is going to look at the scroll, and then look to the dragon, and then just kind of nod, like, fine. But still very tense. Like, if one of them fucking smack talks are on the way home. I think it's time for trash talks over. <laughs> we would have won! Yeah, no. If we had cool fantasy names. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where I screwed up? <laughs> I wrote Kyle down and it's K-A-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Thank you! Good. I love you, Jasper. What does Kendara think, though? Um, so Kendara, as far as he's concerned, you know, the, 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 everything's taken care of, right? He's not there to kill somebody that he just, you know, just for killing's sake. Right. This was a job. So uh, he's going to come out of the bush, I guess. they call it Imperia? He puts his sword, he puts his swords back, he cleans them off, puts his swords back in his sheaths, and he's going to just kind of saunter through sort of like on his way back out, like, are we done here? And, uh, and he's going to wink uh, at Aerolove as he says, what would you guys have done without me? Is <laughs> 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 it possible to like, roll your eyes so hard you spray something? <laughs> <laughs> as she's looking around, because she's super paranoid, and this was way easier than bringing in people from all over the country to take care of. Mm -hmm. So she is still on edge. I want to look in the sky, see if there's a dragon coming or not, just yeah. in case. Yeah, uh, she's looking around. Is there a dragon? Give me a perception check. Okay. okay. Let's roll that. 19 plus... Yeah, 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 yeah. Triple digits. <laughs> it's a snow dragon. The city of Odyssea is going to be stone silent as you guys are lashing these guys together, you know, binding them and getting ready to bring them back to the Malchus Mobile to trail behind four days back to the city of Esterhold. There's no dragon. There's no sign of a dragon at all in the sky anywhere. You don't know where it is, but for the first time in three years since it showed itself, it's not the city of Odyssea and it traveled northeast. And 
I think that's a pretty good time for us to stop for the evening. We will find out what happened to that dragon and what's going to happen to this cult on the ride back. Thank you all so much for hanging out. It's almost as entertaining as this was. Um, <laughs> thank you all so. Oh, sorry. I'm off camera. You just got my crotch. <laughs> Did you get all of it? Bring out the mini. Bring out the mini. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. With you know, love, Jason. <laughs> this is loose in the world. This continues. So we will find out what happened to Ruth Amar at some point. Um, I cannot thank you all enough because this is this is a dream come true. I've never been able to play in front of people, and you guys have been a fantastic crowd. You've been very patient. You waited again here, and like hardly any of you left. Thank you. <laughs> um, I I don't know what else to say. Do you guys have anything you want to say before we get out of here? Uh, uh, thanks for giving us sh uh, a shot, people who didn't know about us, for, for sticking with us for this story. I hope you like the story tonight and that you'll go try to pick up where we left off or what came before this. Thank because you. This is, we're, we're so happy to have everyone here tonight because uh, I was trying, in fact, I asked uh, Steve, our wiki guy, to help me out find a, an audio clip that I had a distinct memory of hearing like five years ago, maybe, in the earlier mailbag, mailbag episodes, where one of the questions was, like, where do you see the show in X amount of years, like five, ten years? And I remember, I couldn't find the clip, because it's like 800 hours of content. Like, yeah, I, 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 I'm supposed to be working. Can't listen to podcasts. <laughs> uh, and I remember you saying, like, well, I would like one day to play a live game. And like, here we are. So follow your dreams, persevere, <laughs> do it. I guess one more thing for those of you who have never listened to us before. Again, thanks for coming in and giving us a shot. And um, if, you, if you do want to pick up our show, you kind of have two choices. Like you can listen all the way from the beginning, but we specifically have an ARC 1, ARC 2 dynamic, and ARC 2 started pretty recently. So if you want to just pick up an ARC 2, you'll only have... You have an episodes? 44. 44 episodes. Oh my gosh! gosh. Only well, okay, look, here's the thing. They're, they're, they're relatively shorter than the ARC 1 yeah. episodes, so they're, they're floating around an hour and a half to two hours. There's also a recap just before uh, ARC 2 started that covers everything that happened in ARC 1. That is... 500 hours of content broken down into two manageable hours. So. <laughs> and for those of you who aren't like completionists who need to start at the beginning, he does recap at the beginning of every episode what's relevant to the characters that, like now. Yeah. So if you want to just jump in head first, catch up, and then start at episode one or episode yeah. 201, which is our two. Um, you can do that too. I know a lot of listeners do it that way. Yeah. We are really trying to sell the show to you. Yeah. 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 Now the real reason, we're going to tell you about a timeshare. Everyone, stay <laughs> safe. Stay safe. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. It was a long panel, and I guess Esther holds safe for now. Woo! We won. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your time. Let's all go get drunk or something. Yeah. <laughs>